Previously on The Biggest Loser, after a month on the ranch, Chris had a meltdown. I don't want to be here anymore. At the elimination, Chris changed her tune. I do want to be here 100%. You have to be held responsible for your actions. My vote tonight is for Chris. I have to vote for Chris. But Chris held on for one more week. Gail, I'm sorry to tell you with four votes, you are not the biggest loser. As the season of No Excuses continues, this week's excuse, I'll never reach my goal. Here has been a tough night, and I'm sure you can't wait to put it behind you. Unfortunately, it's not over yet. I need you to get the red team for me and meet me at the gym. We have one thing left to do. This night has been long. We just went through way in elimination, and it's like I really do not feel like doing anything else right now. And now we have to go to the gym. I'm a little pissed. It felt pretty horrible tonight that I was technically one vote away from elimination. Allison wants to have all of us back to the gym right now for an announcement. And uh, we're like, what? I really don't know what to expect. I'm thinking it might be some big twist, and then I kind of start to dread what she's going to say to us. Deja vu. Welcome back. You joined this competition because you had a goal, to lose weight and to get your lives back. Sometimes when you don't reach your goals the first time, life hands you a second chance. And with that in mind, will you please help me welcoming back the Aqua Team. Aqua Team, come on in. My name is Daphne, I'm 37. My name is Adrian, I'm 34. We're, we're the brother, sister, sister team from Illinois. Illinois. And we're the next biggest losers. <laughs> Good to see you. Aqua team walks to the doors and I'm surprised, but I'm also not excited. I'm not happy about it. Adrian, Daphne, welcome back. To come as far as they did and to go home the very first challenge before they even got on the ranch, that just would have been a really hard thing for for me and for Chisholm, so for them to get a second chance, I was excited to see them. It has been one month since you all met the Aqua team the first night of this competition. That's it, it's over. Daphne stepped out. Pink team, you have won, congratulations. They lost the challenge, they failed to win a spot on campus. It was very hard for me and my brother to lose the challenge the first day. I'm not a very emotional person, but that night, the tears were uncontrollable. Um, I felt like I was given a golden ticket and I felt like I was robbed of it. But on that same night when you entered the Biggest Loser Gates and began working toward your goals here, they had a goal of their own. If the two of them could lose a combined total of 50 pounds in the first month of this competition, they'd be back in this game. Tonight, we're going to find out if they reached that goal. I started thinking, man, could you do that at home? Two people. 25 pounds, it's almost a pound a day. I saw them in the very beginning and I see them now and th they look like they've lost a significant amount of weight. Adrian, there was no doubt in anyone's mind how much you wanted to be here. Right. How did you re-motivate yourself when going home? We held each other accountable every day and we worked out and we fought. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two. We didn't get to spend a lot of time with our family, but here we are right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. What's the style you got? You're rocking there. That's my ass, guy. Well, this is this how I roll. This is Brett. This is me. This is Adrian. This is Big Bank. This is what it is. All day long. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you lose 50 pounds, the Aqua Team is back in this game. And if you achieve that goal, you also earn immunity this week. I think you know it's kind of crap. I've been here now for four weeks, and I'm yet to get immunity. I can tell you from the looks on everyone else's face here, they know how important it is to stay here as long as you can. So that is the ultimate prize in this game. I don't think that losing 50 pounds at home earns them a second chance on the ranch. We all had the same opportunity on the first day that we got here, and they lost the challenge. If I lose the challenge tomorrow and I go home, am I going to get a second chance to come back? No, I'm not. 
Let's see if you did it. Daphne, we're going to start with you. Time for you to step on the scale. Words can even be conceived to describe how bad we want this second chance. My sister and I worked our butt off to get here. And I just hope that those numbers on the scale reflect the amount of hours we put in working out. Daphne, on your first day of this competition, we weighed you in. Your starting weight was 271 pounds. Your current weight is. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. I, I'm amazed because I did not know I lost 26 pounds. One month, 26 pounds. That is amazing. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Daphne. Thank you. You can step down. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Adrian, it is time to weigh you in if you have lost at least 24 pounds. Aqua Team is back. Come on up. I'm saying, oh my God, okay, my sister, she did her job. She had 26, so I did not want to be the one to mess it up for our team. I'm just praying and I'm just hoping that we're not going home. All right, Adrian, it all comes down to this moment. This is your second chance. When you first started this competition, you weighed in at 370 pounds. Your current weight is. Boom, baby! Come on, we did it! That's what's up. You did it! We did it. <laughs> Thank you. Man, at that moment, I'm so emotional inside because I'm, I'm saying, Oh my God, we are back on the ranch. Aqua Team is in the house and we're here to stay. You wanted this second chance and you earned it. Thank you. You are back in this game. Congratulations, Aqua Team. But what you didn't know is that you will be separated. On the first day of this competition after you left, every couple was separated. One person on the red team, one person on the black Man, team. Man, this is some boo. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. <laughs> You've had the opportunity to meet Bob Dolvet. Who do you want to have as your trainer? I'd say Bob. Bob. I, I, I have to say Bob. I, I don't know who you're looking at. Look at each other. You guys got to talk this to Bob. It's Bob. It's Bob. Bob. I, I, hey. One of you has to be with Dolvet. So. We're going to be here all night. Tonight. All night. I'm going to give you two minutes. I thought it was really stupid. I thought it was immature. The fact that they couldn't just talk it out. We all had to make this decision. Mm -hmm. We all did. Rock, paper, scissors then. Which one? OK. You got 20 seconds. Winner takes Bob. <laughs> Go. They decided to have a rock, paper, scissors showdown on the stage. You know, it was like they were like eight years old and didn't care what was going on. OK. I got Bob. That's what it is. I got Bob. Congratulations. It's a red shirt for you. All right. Congratulations, Stephanie. You are Don't on the red, black team. Look good on us. Let's make them weak. Let's make them weak. It's my team right there. Better be serious. That's all I got to say. He's a funny guy. But he better be serious. Red all the way, baby. There you go. Oh, show me some love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're screaming, yelling, ah, we're back in the house. We're back in the house. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I'd go about it that way. You know, we're all kind of standing around looking at you like. Adrian and Daphne have immunity this week. They will be safe from elimination as long as they do not gain weight. But you should also know your weight loss will count towards your team's total at the weigh-in. And they will be counting on you to do your part this week. All right, go get some rest. Get to know each other. I'll see you guys soon. Thank Good night. You. Well, they're talking about, ooh, here we go, we're ready, we're back in the house, and I'm thinking in my head, you guys have no idea what's in store for you. Oh, goodness. Hey. Sorry. Here we are. Yeah. So you got to put me all up to speed and let me know what's going on, because well, I can I definitely... Can I give you just kind of a real quick, do you care if I Dad? just kind of tell them, of the three challenges we've won two, of the four weigh-ins we've won two, 
we work really, really hard. Right. We, we want to see everybody given 100%, you Definitely. know, and there's no slacking off here. I think my teammates will be surprised to see how hard that I work out. And I think if they have any worries about having a weak link on their team, that it won't be me. Just to let you know, I've only been getting six hours of sleep. Those numbers reflect me being at home with my family, working out literally 14 hours a day. But you're right. not getting the training, I guess, that we're getting, because yeah. 14 hours That's a day. lot. What will happen is you'll do less hours, more intense. I don't know Olympic athletes that train 14 hours a day and only lose 34 pounds in one month. I'm thinking if you work out for 14 hours a day at the intensity that we work out here, you wouldn't even have to come back to the ranch because you'd already be skinny. What kind of workouts have you been doing? I've been doing um, endurance, a lot of endurance, a lot of running, um, a 9.0, a, a 6.0 incline. A 9.0 on the treadmill at a 6% incline, which basically is a sprint. I just feel like I'm being fed a line of horse every time he opens his mouth. Get in here, this is not easy to get here. Yeah, it's not easy to stay here. Get the inside scoop on tonight's episode from some of our former contestants. Join NBC Live now at NBC.com. I think he's going to be an advantage. He's got a lot of weight to lose. He's a mm -hmm. big guy. It's nice to have him. 34 at home. That's pretty good. That's impressive. That's pretty good. Yeah. I feel good about it. Yeah. I'm open to the idea because, you know, it is good for our team to have, like, another larger guy. But also, I'm not the type to be like, welcome to the team. You're one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like we've come through a lot. I'm excited to see what he brings to the team, but he is an outsider, and I feel like you have to earn your spot. There's nothing that we can do about it. Yeah. I mean, they got a second mm -hmm. chance. They earned their right to be back here, and it's it's a game, and we have to just go with it. In our group, for sure, I mean, the women aren't comfortable with somebody new coming in. I don't have a problem with it. To me, if they're here, they're here. What he's saying about um, his speed and incline is correct. <laughs> 9.0, uh, listen. We'll find out tomorrow. Right. What I'm saying is, right now, let's trust him, because we have no reason to distrust yeah. him. Okay. If what he said is true, that guy's going to be burning calories like a, like a madman. You know, I think we be patient and we give grace, but we also encourage, because his numbers count next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still have my reservations. I think the proof is going to be in the workouts, not only in the workouts, but how he interacts with the house. This is the first morning after elimination. It's very tense. I mean, nobody's really talking. No one really knows how to start this conversation, which we obviously voted for Chris, and she's still here. I mean, I'm avoiding eye contact with Chris. When you make eye contact, you got to, like, start talking or something, or it's more awkward. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look who we have here. How are you? Hi. <laughs> You guys lost the 50 pounds. We sure did. I lost 26. Wow, you lost 26 pounds? I won you. Well, you got me. <laughs> All right, tell me about last night. How was it? Obviously, I don't see Gail. Did everyone go Gail? No. How do, OK, so how did the numbers go? It went. Four it Gail, three me. Who were the four that did Gail? The girls. And you guys did um, Chris. You know what I don't want? I don't want any attitude. Yeah, no. Not no. this week. I don't want any just like chips on the shoulder. I, I want it all just out there. Coming back in the house, I'm thinking, what did I get myself into? I'm feeling a lot of tension. For me, it was just because of what happened earlier in the week and her saying, you know, that she wanted to leave. We already had to deal with Joe leaving, and that was, yeah. you know, and it just scared us to see that happen again. I understand that. Joe quit. Ben pretty much quit. I kind of feel like they were looking for an excuse to put my name down. I know they had a good bond with Gail. I get it. But to Chris's defense, what she's feeling and her actions are two different things. What she has shown you guys as a teammate is someone that is fully committed to you. This woman has been busting her ass and her losing seven pounds last night, that says it all. I know it's tough. You saw your name written down, and like now all of a sudden you're here, and they're here. And it's like, it is what it is. You know why they did it. I would love to get to know you two a little more. 
and let you into my world a little more. But I feel like from your end, you've been keeping me at an arm's distance a little bit. So I want to break down that wall with you. You're my teammates. Kind of like you said, it goes both ways almost. I feel like you keep us at an arm's distance, you know. I'll be the first to admit, I do keep people at arm's length. It's a protective mechanism that I've picked up throughout my life. And it's one thing that I need to work on. And I am committed to be here. I do want to be here. I need to be here. Good for you, and I think we can put this to rest. After the talk, I'm realizing you have to pull your weight with the black team. Um, I think that's why they sent Gail home, and I think they're making everybody accountable. So coming in here, I have to be determined. I have to work out hard, and I have to push through the pain. Let's go up and work out. Oh, God. Touch. Good. And back. Good. Again. That's it. Run back and forth. That's it, Daphne. You're back in the house. Biggest loser style. Here we go. This week for Daphne, you know, she has immunity. This is definitely like an audition for her for the black team. Daphne definitely has to prove herself by doing every drop of work that we're supposed to do. Nice big pull. There it is. Get that pull in there, baby. If she doesn't do that, it'll be very easy for me to vote her out. We're doing Fran today. Bob has this wad, which is a workout of the day that he calls Fran. Thrusters and pull-ups. 21 squat thrusts, 21 pull-ups, 15 squat thrusts, 15 pull-ups, 9 squat thrusts, 9 pull-ups. It's all about how fast you can get these done, and it is a bone-crushing workout. All the gas out of the tank. All the gas out of the tank. I need you to pick up speed. Honestly, it's something Bob does. Like, this is a circuit Bob does. Ah! You've got to get below 10 minutes, you and me. You've got to do it. Let's go. He wants us to get to the point where we're basically just, like, gasping for air. Ah! Ah! Five more. Because once you get to that point, that's when the fat just starts, like, burning off of you. Good. Drop it. Hurry up. Knowing that I'm timed, um, it just sets me in a different mode. Damn. Go, 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 go. That's right, baby. You show me the woman that you are. You show me the woman that I know you are. Yes! Drop it. Move. Welcome to the Biggest Loser house, baby. Yes! The last round, you feel like your arms are about to fall off, but you just got to keep on going. That's exactly it. Look at that form, Daphne. Dig. Do it good. Up. Get it up. Ah. Pull up. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, you and me. We got you feel like we're dying, and he just loves that because he knows like what he's doing is working. Bent over, heave it. That's what I love. Ah. Yes. Jeremy, go. Come on. Seven minutes and 46 seconds. Yes, ma'am. Chisholm did Fran. Seven minutes and six seconds. Oh. <laughs> Five minutes and 29 seconds. <laughs> Five minutes and 14 seconds. That's bad ass. I feel great about myself right now. Here I am with the other contestants. They've been here for a month, and I'm able to keep up with them. This is awesome. The whole team is saying, you know, first day here, if we were asked to do something like that, um, we, we wouldn't have done it. We couldn't have done it. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> Four minutes and 28 seconds. What? The workout totally backs up what Bob was trying to express this morning before we started, that I am a strong player, I am an integral part of the team, and to have lost me would have been detrimental. Somebody try to tell me you're weak. Somebody in this room try to tell me you're weak. You got this. The excuse, I'll never reach my goal, can slow you down. But how fast should you go? The Kid Nikki from Raleigh, North Carolina tweets, should people at home start small or go hard like Biggest Loser? I'm sick of killing myself and don't know where to start. Well, intense workouts are great for losing weight. But if you push too hard, too fast, injuries can set you back. My advice, start slow and build intensity. Walk a mile every day for a week, then beat your time the following week. Keep this up until you're running a mile. Then add more miles. Pretty soon, you'll be dropping the pounds off before you know it. 
The concerns that I have about Adrian are kind of where his exercise level is. You know, he's been at home. He's been doing a lot of different things than we have been doing here. So, you know, I'm just hoping that he can keep up with us. It's your first time working in the ranch with me, isn't it? Yes, sir. Adrian's just getting here. He's the rookie. He needs to prove he deserves to be on his team. So you never experienced that very first workout, you know? So it's, it's almost like a rookie initiation that has to go down today. You feel me? You got to earn your spot with this team. I only worked out with Dovet a little bit in Chicago, so I can only imagine what it's like to be in his gym, in his house. I'm not scared, but I am excited. Let's go! Get lower than that! Back! Forward! Let's go! Quick feet, go! Quick feet, go! Ten. How bad you want it? Let's go, red team! Forward! Three! Come on! Two here! I know how we all did in the first workout. <laughs> Uh, oh. Bodies on the floor, the <laughs> puke buckets full. Do it again! <laughs> ah, it was a massacre. Ten, go! Nine, eight, seven. My first workout on the ranch was horrible. <laughs> I puked, I couldn't keep up. It was, it was the worst workout that I've ever had in my life. So I'm thinking that this first workout, it's going to be pretty tough for Adrian. Go! <laughs> go! <laughs> Let's go, rookie. Let's go. My initial impression is, OK, Adrian's doing pretty good. You know, first 10 minutes, and he's looking strong. And in the back of my mind, I go, it's coming. You don't know it, but it's coming. Adrian, come here. Adrian. Yes, sir. Come here. Oh, yes, sir. This is your workout, sir. The rest of the team's going to keep going. You and I are going to get a workout in. Watch me. I'm going to give everything I have, each moment, each second. Before I came here, I was working out 14 hours a day just to get back on. I'm here to set records. I'm here to do things that have never been done before on this ranch. Three, there you go. Four, there you go. Moving like a rookie who's hungry. Moving like a rookie who wants it. Let's find out if you can do it. Delva has us swing across these monkey bars, and that's ridiculous. We literally can't even do pull-ups unless Delva is spotting us. That's a joke. Do you think I'm holding you up? You out of yoga. Man. I love Do yoga. I? Oh, go. Lordy. I go on them, and I can't even get to the next bar. <laughs> get out of here. When it comes to my turn to go on the monkey bars, I can't even begin to reach them. <laughs> oh, time, 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 oh. time. I got you. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all right. Just <laughs> go. Both uh, That's go. all right. That's all right. What do you got? See how far you can get. Go. There's a lot of pressure on me being a new guy. So I have to prove, you know, I deserve to be on the red team. I deserve a spot here. And I'm willing to work hard and above and beyond. Go. Nice. 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 Right. Nice. Woo! Drop it. Not bad. Not bad. Come on down. I'm thinking, wow. You know, I can't do that. At that moment, I'm saying, he's pretty strong. We are three quarters of the way through the workout, and he still has the strength to carry his own body weight all the way across. I'm shot that Adrian got across. One, two, three. Good you guys job. are good teachers, man. I'm looking at all you guys. I hope Dovet doesn't hear me say this, but I felt like when the workout ended that we just had began working out. I mean, it was just a great feeling. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you, bro. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. My opinion after day one is he's an asset to our team. I'm not impressed with his first workout. It, it honestly was one of the easier workouts that we've had. So wait until we have a really, really tough workout. What do you think of the workout? I'm loving it. What I wanted to do, I wanted to take a second away from everybody else. Yes, sir. And I wanted to get to know Adrian. So most of my life and most of my days are filled with being a family man and having kids. How many uh, kids do you have? I have uh, one on the way, and I have a daughter who's one year old named Koi. And our first child, we uh, we lost, and her name was Ari. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd you lose her? Um, it was a. Uh, it's, it's funny because people get miscarriages and early deliveries different. It wasn't a miscarriage. I actually held my baby. She actually was delivered at six months. And yeah. How does that make you feel? It's stronger. It makes you feel so stronger. Stronger. Why? Because to go through something like that and be here. Stronger. I knew my wife since we were 14, and everything was like fairy tale. But when she got pregnant, we were overjoyed. Six months down the line, her water breaks. We rush to the hospital, and we're just praying, you know. And and she just didn't make it, you know. I see my baby's heart beating in her stomach, 
You know, I held the child in my hand. I held the child in my hand and it was just a lot. And so in that, you know, as men, we're taught, we're taught not to cry, you know? And, I, and, I, and, and in that, I never really took time to, to, to feel that. I just, just turned to food. My wow moment was when I was in a movie theater and I had a large caffeinated beverage and a candy bar. And my heart started racing, I fainted, and the next thing I knew, I was on my way to the hospital. And in, in that, the doctor said, if you keep going on like this, you won't be here. So I started walking every day, every day dealing with the death of my first child. I was 420, I came here 370. I lost 50 to 60 pounds, just walking 10 miles a day, just getting stuff off my chest. <laughs> You still a lot of pain inside you. The reason why I'm here is because I want to be here for my family, for my baby that's on the way, for my wife, Simber, for my, for my little baby, Koi. I want to be here to walk her down the aisle. I'm here for those positive things. I'm not here for any drama. I'm not here for any, anything negative. You have a chance now to change your life. I will take it and I'm going to run with it. All right. Yeah. All right, let's do some good stuff. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Time. Right. I want to start, so one, two. When Bob leaves, the workout doesn't end. <laughs> Homework is definitely a big part of The Biggest Loser. Eight, just one more set of ten, right? Yep. Because you don't pull these big numbers without doing extensive hours of exercise. A lot of times it's upwards of five hours of homework. You get to see just how committed each and every person is based on how hard they're gonna push themselves because there's nobody here telling you what to do. It's on you now. You know what you gotta do and you need to get it done. How are you doing, you okay? Thank God it's only for five minutes. You're the one that has to put your head on the pillow at night, either knowing you did all the homework or you didn't. And just write it down. <sighs> Daphne seeing the homework for the first time to see the extensive amount of work that she has to do after a Bob Harper workout, I think it makes Daphne kind of in awe. Where's your sister? No, I didn't even see her disappear. <laughs> seeing Daphne leave kind of concerns me because it's definitely easier to bang this homework out as a group. I'm a little worried because I don't know if she'll finish it. If Daphne continues to skip out on homework, it's going to ultimately be her demise here and she's going to probably be sent home for it. How was your day today? I'm tired, but I knew it was going to be like this. I knew it was going to be hard work, so. It's hard work, but, you know, I feel like we put in harder work being at home than being here so far. When me and my brother were home, we worked out every day, all day long. So it doesn't surprise me at all. I came in as a rookie, and I feel like the way it's looking, it's looking like, like they looking at me like a threat. Yeah. <laughs> it was like weird, because coming in, I was like, I need to just shut up, because they asked me how many hours I'm working. And I'm like, well, I work 14 hours. And don't, don't. Like, am don't I not supposed to work out hard? It's like you, you, you're darned if you do, and you're darned if you don't. It's hard for people when they see something new or a change or something. And us coming back in, it's like a change in the house. Right. I haven't heard anything bad or negative from my team or anything like that. But you never know what somebody's right. thinking or saying when you're not around. Right, right. I'm new on the team. I know it's going to take some time for everybody to, to embrace me. So if I have to dedicate myself to being in that gym to make sure that I am the biggest loser every week, just so they can't pull that card on me, then that's what I'm here for. Hopefully my team is not like that. What happened earlier while I was upstairs with Adrian? Well, for one, he said that we're, we need to step our game up because he's been working out 14 hours a day. I go, well, that's incredibly disrespectful. Are you saying we're not working hard? So I turn my back and start pounding the chicken. He goes, you know what, Connie, you've been very disrespectful of me, but because I'm a gentleman, I haven't checked you on it yet. You know, there's been some things that Adrian said that has really offended me, and it's caused a lot of tension between he and I and between the rest of the team. He's an idiot, Like, man. what makes him think that he walks in here and he's just like, step up You know game. what? I've been you here for two days. Two days. Step up your game. I, had, I, had a 20 I work out 14 hours a day. I had a 20-pound kettlebell, and you girls had 25. If I was coming into it on week five, I really think that I'd kind of lay low, fly under the radar, get these people to trust me before I'd open up my mouth and start talking smack. I'm like, had it with him. Like, I, I absolutely hate him.
We came here together, and at the end of the day, right. we may be on two different teams, but it's still about us. Right. And no matter what, we can't vote each other out of this house. Right. Blood right. is thicker than water. Right, all day. One of us is going to be the biggest loser, right. and right. the other one is going to be the first runner-up. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Jeremy Chisholm, do you guys have a minute to talk? Yeah. I just want to talk to Chisholm and Jeremy. We just had a little bit of distance between us and the team. Well, despite the elimination and things that kind of went down the other night. I'm just like, is she going to say, like, I can't believe you voted for me? Like, is this the moment that she actually, like, kind of goes crazy on us? I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate you both on the team. I think you're both tremendous guys. I really do. Um, Jeremy, you just have a way. You really do. You have a way with knowing what to say and when to say it, kind of when you get past your comical uh, personality that you have. Um, I think you're really an outstanding guy, um, responsible in your job and what you do. And this whole conversation is, like, awkward to me because... <laughs> She has never once said any of these things in the whole four weeks. And Chisholm, I appreciate you because, um, you know, not being around my kids, you remind me of my second son, and I know I've told you that before, yeah. but he has a love of music, and he has an incredible gift. And so when I look at you, I kind of see him. The situation was so weird and awkward. Like, Jeremy and I both were kind of not really talking or anything. And it just kind of brings me closer to home. Yeah. So, and I appreciate well, that. Good. So I just want to let you know, guys know that. You know, just know that, you know, if you need something, I'm here. A listening ear, compassion and understanding. I just want to let you guys know that. Thank you. Thank I really you. appreciate that. If she really wanted to get to know us, she would have done it before she knew that we were going to vote her off. It's almost like, okay, now that they wrote my name down, I need to get to know them so that I stay here, not because she just wants to get to know us. May want to walk? Yeah, we can walk. I got to change my shoes. You know, maybe they just need to digest what I said a little bit. If this is her reaching out, she definitely needs to do better. It is very weak. Uh, you know, I think it went okay. at the beach today, I mean, it feels good to be away from the ranch, but it's not going to be a nice day at the beach. This ain't a vacation, so we're going to have to do some sort of challenge that's probably going to be exhausting, and it's going to be rough. <laughs> Adrian, get away from us. Oh, my God. I'm super annoying. <laughs> what do you guys think our challenge is going to be? It's drowning our new teammates. I can't stand that. Don, why did he come behind us? Get out of here. I feel like you want a back kick. <laughs> Um, she's young and she's very childish. Yeah, but that don't mean she's try to very, kick somebody. She's young. From what I hear, Conda is uh, causing a lot of problems for my brother. She's really saying a lot of things behind his back. <laughs> she's very immature. She has a lot of growing up to do. You need to uh, start calling her on her stuff. You hear me? Yeah. I'm not that kind of guy that holds grudges. Uh, today is a good day. I'm going to work it. There's a few haters, but you need haters. Haters make you thrive. Today. Here's how it works. Each team has a collection of balls. On my go, two players from each team will take a ball, raise 100 feet, and using a trampoline, bounce the ball over a wall to your teammates on the other side. If you miss it, the ball is dead, out of play. If you catch it, you will then race to put it in your team bin. The purple are worth one point. Yellow, two points. Blue are worth four points. First team to get 100 points wins. There's, there's no way. There, no way. Are, are you getting medicine balls? These things are huge and heavy, and to try and bounce it on these trampolines, somebody's gonna get a ball to the face. The team that wins today's challenge gets to pick one player from each team whose weight will not count at the weigh-in. This is huge. This, the weigh-in can be determined off of who wins this challenge today. It's a lot of power. I am just 
board. I mean, I don't want the red team to have control and sit out like someone who pulled a good number and has a good weight loss or, you know, a good percentage. Roy and Chisholm have not been cleared medically to compete in this challenge. Chisholm has to sit out on this challenge, and I'm thinking that sucks for us. You know, he's one of the strongest guys we have. Red team, you still have one extra player. You're going to have to choose someone to sit out. Who's it going to be? Uh, Nancy will be sitting out today. All right, Nancy, you are out of this challenge. You're going to be watching with Chisholm and Roy. The rest of you, let's get started. All right, guys, let's do this. On your mark, get set, go. Let's go. She says, on your mark, get set, go, and I take off for the first ball. And you would never realize how difficult it is to run in sand until you're trying to run in sand. <laughs> I mean, I'm winded by the time I pick up the first ball and I realize we got to get to 100 points. And I'm like, oh, God. We got it! Oh, God, guys. Yeah. Oh, so close. Go over here, go over here. Mark oh. gets his over, and we miss one of those because the balls are bouncy. We're thinking they're going to be heavier. Guys, ready? We got it! In this sand, it just feels like you're running in quicksand. Maybe it was my first or second ball. I just hit the wall. It doesn't go over. So I'm like, okay, you're not hitting it in the right spot. And Mark makes contact. They hold on to it. We decide that we're going to run just one ball back. Okay, we got it. Even if the black team gets two balls in, we want to make sure that we at least have four points on the board right now. Okay, go. We're up right now and we're leading, so we just were trying to keep that going. So we're running back and forth, and it seems like we're doing really well. Ready? Yes. Still, still. The red team did a good job communicating. Wait for marks. Here it comes. Go. Red team with another two. Come on, Jeremy. Jeremy makes contact. <laughs> Black team heads back with eight more points. Yeah! Black team eventually kind of gets their bearings and understands what's going on. Got it! Black team is doing great! And I just hope that we can keep it up, really. Oh. And the red team loses a point. Just go with it! Go with it! They're go with fall it! Behind. Come on! We're pulling ahead! We're just falling behind. Black team's beating us, and I'm getting kind of dejected. We got to tilt it. Yeah. We're not doing too well. The black team, they are starting to pull away. At this point, I'm not at all confident that we can pull it off. Damn. Black team pulling ahead. Got a solid lead now. If they can hang on to it. Black team is, is actually ahead of us, but no matter what, we want to win this, and we want to have that control. We're going to have to work fast to catch up. Oh, oh. Black team falls behind. Red team makes contact. We're just going strong, and then all of a sudden, two balls are missed. All I can see is like points hitting the sand. They have given Red Team a chance to catch up and take the lead. Hey! We didn't get it! I don't know what went wrong. We have been missing balls, or they've been bouncing out. Ready? Black team misses again. We're losing our lead. Team takes the lead, 48 to 40. Okay, we're running. Budge nuggets. Once we hear that we're in the lead, there's no letting up. I'm still thinking about where the, those balls need to be because a couple of wrong throws, and I know black teams can be back ahead again. I'm getting very frustrated. I mean, towards the end of the communication, it started to fall apart. We were running down, and we were waiting for them. Ready? And nobody was answering, and I can't hear if there's anybody on the other side of the wall that's ready for a ball, so we fell apart. Black is still losing to the red team. I'm thinking, oh my God, we just had them by eight. How are they beating us? This can't be happening. This is so unreal. Both teams out of the blue. Four point balls. They are down to the yellow, which are only worth two points each. My brain clicks into like football mode, right? It's fourth quarter, and you've just got a little ways to go, and you just go for it. Focus. Yes. One down. Four points away from victory for the red team. Yes. Oh, they have it in their oh, head. Oh. Gentle. And with that, the red team has won this challenge! Great job. 
is getting old. Yeah, a little bit. I'm sick of losing. And I normally don't ever get like that, but because this challenge affects the weigh-in, it is really frustrating. Good teamwork. Yeah. Hey. It was. Red team has got an advantage over us, and it's in their hands. And you can't think about it too much because it'll piss you off. All right, red team, congratulations. You have won this challenge. Oh! You have an important decision to make at the weigh-in. You will choose one member of the red team whose weight will not count. And you will choose one member of the black team whose weight will not count for their team. There's a lot of power here, red team. Congratulations, you worked hard. I will see you guys soon. On the first hour of The Biggest Loser. Boom, baby! After four weeks at home, Aqua Team won a second chance on the ranch. But big talk from Adrian rubbed some the wrong way. I've been working out literally 14 hours a day. Olympic athletes don't train 14 hours a day. And later, Red Team won the challenge. Earning them a crucial advantage at the weigh-in. You will choose one member of the Red Team and one member of the black team whose weight will not count for their team. Coming up. Let's just get that big white, pink elephant, whatever color it is, out there and say it. Tensions explode. This is the kind of crap that gets in there and breaks things apart. Adrian, we're going to put you right here. That's all right. You can sit next to Nancy. No, that's all right. He can sit there. It's not a problem. It shouldn't that's be a problem. It. it doesn't matter where yeah, he sits. Where, where are we doing want. this? Why are we doing this? Where, what matters where he sits? Conda and Kim need to have compassion. I think both of them are just being territorial. I know that I feel it, and everybody else here does. And I know that there's stuff, just air that needs to be cleared. I know there's been things that have been said between people and things like that. And me personally, I think that's going to affect us as a team. Any thoughts or words? Nobody would say anything, but I knew that people were thinking things. My thought is, uh, is anybody here in the 12th grade or 8th grade maybe? We're all adults. If someone says something to you, tell them how you feel about it and get it over with. Don't go talk to everybody about it and gossip with each other. Oh, you know what he said? You know what he did? Don't do that. Don't chew the rag for days and days. I don't want to hear about your problem 17 times in one day. I don't want to hear about it because it's very childish. It's very immature. Nancy, have I'm you not been offended? I'm not here did for Did someone that. offend you? You know what? I'm tired of hearing you complain about him all day long well were you offended nancy did he cross the line did so you, you have no get... idea how i feel do you can you do you have any idea how I feel? what did i just say me, please well, what nancy, did i just let say, me just say something because go to I don't him and tell to... him don't tell everybody else i don't know what the issue is i mean i just got here we're just getting to know everybody i mean there's a person that seems that they have a problem with me and i don't know why let's just get right down to it you said I'm here now, I work out 14 hours a day, everyone needs to step their game up. That's not what I said. Yeah, that is exactly what you said. That is not what I said. That's, no, you, I, I, don't, we just, don't two seconds. The conversation they're having about, you said this, and no, I didn't say that, I didn't mean that, I said this, and I, that's just petty stuff. I mean, really, that's, that's a uh, symptom of a larger problem. Listen, you came into this team and they shoved you in the middle mm -hmm. of something that was already bonded. Right. So let's just get that big white, pink elephant, whatever the f color it is, right. out there and say it. Right. Coming into this situation and being like, yeah, I work out 14 hours a day, this, that, and the other, I think it set a tone of, like, we don't work hard enough here. He came into the game really loud, about everything, telling us he's worked out for 14 hours every day. I mean, that's just And I think that's what was most offensive. We, we went home working our pants off to get here. And in some aspects, it might have been just as hard as you guys being here. I have a good suggestion for you, Adrian. I come into a new group. I, I, I quietly just observe, and I kind of get to know everybody and know what they're sensitive about, I what they're not sensitive about. I didn't even get a chance. About. 
I'm coming here. I haven't been here for a month. Everybody's listen been more here. than talk is what I'm trying to say. Just listen more to observe more than you speak because until you get so to I know. So I should be quiet. Okay. No, no, not be quiet. I'm not no, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Just so you can no, hear. No, no, I hear what you're saying. Well, I'm listen more than than talk. I'm a grown man. Is somebody gonna tell me not to talk and I should listen? They was trying to check me. Don't talk and just listen. I'm 34 years old. Come on now. This right. has got this has got to end. And okay. again. If you guys need to work stuff out, that's between y'all. If y'all don't speak again, that's between y'all. Okay. But we are still a red team. I just don't like the way this day has felt with the red team. We just want a freaking challenge that should right. end up winning the way in. Right. And it just feels weird in this team. And this is the kind of crap that gets in there and breaks things apart. And I don't want to see it. The tension is not gone. Things are not okay. If this gets worse, then that's what we're looking ahead to is potentially losing momentum as a team losing challenges, losing the ability to encourage and push in the gym. So yeah, this this could affect everything for us as a team. Adrian. Yes. What's up, Matt? Hey, good morning. Dude. How are you adjusting here? I'm adjusting fine. Everything is going fine and getting yeah. on with everyone. Everything's cool. Oh, yeah. He asked him some questions, what's going on with the red team? And I told him everything was okay. I'm not about talking behind people's back. That's not my MO, that's not how I operate. It's better to know where everybody's head is at, you know, the trials, the tribulations, uh, their views. You're, you're telling me, but you're not telling me. You're saying something. What, what's... Yeah, I'm here to lose weight. I'm going to get my life back. And that's the only reason why I'm here. Not to play any games. Mm -hmm. This is called the biggest loser, not the biggest friendship. Mm -hmm. If there's ever an issue in the house, I want you to feel like you can talk to me and talk. Don't give me right. the cookie cutter political way of right, saying it. Right, right. Give me authentically you. Okay. I'm in agreement with you, but those conversations about everybody else mm -hmm. shouldn't be done on a one to one because I don't want anybody to think that I'm here to divide and conquer. Oh, I agree. After talking to Adrian, it's clear there's tension between him and the red team. I'm going to get the team together just to clear the air. I'm not gonna let this drama ruin our chances of winning the way in. Let's go, let's go, let's do it. All right, you can jog back. Let's jog back then. Well, you wanna jog or you wanna run? <laughs> you might wanna save that energy. You're gonna need it. Something's brought to my attention that the, the gelling of the red team was a little off. You guys know how I feel about honesty. You know how I feel about trust. And so I'm gonna give you an opportunity to trust the group. So feel free to tell me what's happening. Kim? We sat down last night and we had a long talk about, you know, this elephant in the room, that they've shoved him in the middle of a team that's already worked together for, for a month. And that it's awkward and it's challenging for both of us. It's not a personal thing. He hasn't been next to us, you know, blood, sweat, and tears for the last four weeks. And for him to just show up, it's just difficult. You see, though, that it kind of saddens me because when me and my sister went home, everybody embraced us, said this is bogus that they're sending you home. So we went home, fueled not just off the excitement of a chance to get back, but a chance to get back to everybody here that I thought we had begun to build a relationship. And I get here and it's like, you're not even a part of the group. The way we individually handle things can make or break a team. You're not viewing yourself as a new guy. That is who you are to these people who have been together for four weeks. You can't force feed you to the group. It takes time. Thanks. Just like this process where you guys are trying to get better and get healthy, that takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. In order for us to become a team, you got to open up. You can't be closed. Bring the best you to this team, not the worst you. Because I don't like this crap. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. I'm ready to work. Last Me chance to work, let's get it in that team. <laughs> I'm glad that it all came out in the open. And now I realize that some of these people are two-faced. And you know what? All is forgiven, but it's not forgotten. Ready! Go! Twenty-three is fast as you can. Come on, Megan, go. Daphne, go. Jeremy, go. Sandra, go, go, go. Somebody's going into your pockets trying to steal something that is rightfully yours. This is your way in. Two, two. It is two, two. Don't ever let anybody take anything from you. 
Daphne's back in this house right now where she rightfully belongs. You want it bad, don't you, girl? That's right. That's right. That's right. This workout's huge for us because losing the weigh-in last week, you know, our whole team was really discouraged by that. You know, the unity has been shaken on our team because of it, and I think that we need to win a weigh-in uh, to come back together. Three, two, one. Have a seat. We're going to do that one more time. Don't stop those legs. Keep jogging. Keep going. Keep jogging. Adrian's not walking. It's actually jogging. Jogging. Adrian, you're still walking. Let's increase the speed then. This is, nope. this is walking for me. Are you telling me how to train you? I'm, I'm jogging. You're not jogging. Can you're I not get... jogging a little bit. Simulate as if you are. There you go. I don't know what Adrian is thinking. You don't tell Dolvet what you're going to do. Dolvet tells you what you're going to do. It's Dolvet's gym. Take your speed to 6.0. Push yourself. 30 seconds. 6.0. Yeah, sure, no problem. You know, we just did this earlier in the workout. Sure, we can do it. Last chance to make the first impression. Let's go. Next one, 8.0. Okay, a little bit faster. Go, 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 go. Last chance. Speed, 9.0. Fight, fight, fight. Here you go. Get mad. Don't stop fighting. 10.0. <laughs> Don't stop, Honda. Finish it. Five, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Last chance, Richard. Eleven point oh. My treadmill just said, "Are you seriously crazy?" Ten seconds. Everything you got. I don't know if America knows that a trainer's ten seconds—it's the longest ten seconds you'll ever experience. Go, go, go! Ten. Go! Nine! Eight! Isn't this fun? Seven! This is such a rush. I feel like Superman running beside the train. Six! Five! Four! Last chance! Three! Two! Nine! That's what I'm talking about. Air squads, burn these out right now. Go, go, go. The red team is going to get to pick one of you guys to sit out, which sucks. You gotta make sure that anybody they pick, it doesn't matter. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go faster. Come on, go. I'm putting everything into this workout. I'm trying to go as hard as I can. You know, it's hard. I look around me and the same thing goes for all the members of my team. Hurry! <laughs> You just want to cry your eyes out right now, don't you? <laughs> My girl is strong. Chris almost went home last week. And if the black team loses the way in this week, she's definitely going to go home. So Chris is going to have to give everything she's got in this last chance workout so that does not happen. She's got a little piss and vinegar in her, too, you know? Uh -huh. I've seen that now and then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could still very well see my name being put down if we go to elimination. I'm just working my tail off so I can try to be the biggest loser on the team. Go, go, yeah, let's go. What I want to prove to my team in this workout today is I'm a hard worker and I'm a team member and we're all going to work together to succeed in making our goal. Let's go. Speed. We do grocery cart pushes. Last chance workout, let's dig this deep. You have to push against the treadmill and get that belt going without any power and just your legs pulling it. And it just felt like it was never ending. Go, last chance! <laughs> Three, two, one. <sighs> How you feeling? What's going on with you? Just pull your breath. That's it. You just got to breathe. <laughs> Have you ever worked this hard in your life? <laughs> it's tough doing those workouts and still all this weight on you, huh? Yeah, very tough. We've got to get that fat off, and this is the way that we do it. Got your breath, Jeremy? <laughs> let's do it, Bob. What? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it, right? Good. <laughs> That's right. Dig in one last time. Let's go. You got this. Man, when I was watching the black team going through it, panting on the ground wanting to die I'm like this is going to be good for my team <laughs> the 
You can definitely feel the tension in here today. Adrian, how was this week for you? Did your team welcome you with open arms? We, we had a little trouble in the beginning, but everything is settled. We work hard, we work well as a team. We are a well-oiled machine, and we are here to take over the way in. Red team, you won the challenge, which means you will choose one member of each team whose weight will not count. Buddy, we're gonna have you speak for the red team. Who did you decide to sit out for the black team? We are going to sit out Megan. Bob, did you expect that? They would be dumb to pick anybody else. She lost two pounds last week. She's set up for a great week. I mean, if I was their trainer, that's exactly what I would have told them to do. Red team, you have one more decision to make. You have to choose someone on your own team whose weight will not count. Buddy, who's that? Um, Nancy's weight will not count tonight. Nancy, how do you feel about that decision? I've never had the big numbers, the big digits, so I would hope they would pick me. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. We're gonna get you on the scale first, Nancy, see how you did. Nancy, are you excited to get under 200? It's a hideous number I, for a woman. I, I just don't wanna ever see that again. Well, I will not. I will not see that again, I promise you that. Your weight will not count toward the red team's total tonight. Your previous weight was 200 pounds. Your current weight is. Every week, Nancy's getting better and better and better. This is becoming her life, and I love that. Good for you, Nancy. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You lost four pounds this week. Your weight does not count toward the red team's total. Megan, we need to get you on that scale and see how you did. Megan, your previous weight was 238 pounds. Your current weight is. Megan gets the nine pounds, I'm like, yes. I am so happy with a nine. Oh my God. You definitely hit the nail on the head on that one. And I'm in the 229. Oh, I'm in the 20. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Black team, you have six players to weigh in tonight whose weight will count. Let me start with that. As I'm walking up to the scale, I'm feeling very confident. Go ahead, big sis. I worked very hard this week. I put in a lot of hours. Daphne, your previous weight was 245 pounds. Your current weight is. Because she brought her A-game at home, I'm hoping that she can bring her A-game on the scale. When I see my number pop up on the screen, I'm thinking, no way, this has to be a joke. You lost one pound. Wow. Your first week on campus. What do you think caused that? I don't know. I know I worked extremely hard this week. Your first week that you get to show us as a team member that you can help us out in winning, you pull one pound. It's just, it's unacceptable, really. I just feel like Daphne didn't give it her all this week. You know, she took a lot of breaks during the homework. She was cutting corners. What's the biggest difference between the way you were losing weight at home and coming here to the ranch? My diet has changed. I was only having the carbs maybe once a day and salad and lean meat. So since I've been here, I've been having oatmeal. I've been having, um, you know, more than what I had before. One pound is a joke. You have immunity. Thank you very much. That she should be more heated. There should be more passion coming from her. If this was my first week here and I only lost one pound, I would be pissed off. Up next, we're gonna weigh in Chisholm. Chisholm, your previous weight was 320 pounds. Your current weight is.
wish I had an explanation, but I don't. I don't know, Bob. <laughs> Chisholm is one of the hardest workers in the house. He's 19 years old. He's over 300 pounds. I mean, this guy should be pulling out big numbers, and for losing two pounds made no sense. I'm not going to stand up here and be upset with myself. You know, it's just going to fuel me to go harder next week. Thanks. These numbers are ridiculous. We might not win this weigh-in. Up next, Emily. Emily, your previous weight was 235 pounds. Your current weight is... Looking over at the black team, they seem a bit nervous. I gotta be honest with you. They're pulling out low numbers. Does that mean that we're set up for low numbers? I hope not. You have three people left away in black team. We're gonna get Chris up here next. I feel like I need to be the biggest loser because immunity is the only way for me to not get voted off tonight if we lose the weigh in. Chris, your previous weight was 215 pounds. Your current weight is. Well, I, like Emily, I was kind of shooting for a five, but it is what it is, so. My team is very close-knit, and Chris is kind of on the outside, and Daphne's got immunity, so if the black team loses this way in tonight, I mean, do the math. It's like Chris would be the next one to go. All right, Chris, you lost four pounds for the black team. What are the emotions? Um... Nobody wants to go home, and it's not looking good for the black team. We have two players left to weigh in. Cassandra is next. Cassandra, your previous weight was 206 pounds. You are getting very close to a very important milestone. I was really hoping to get into the 100 tonight, but I'm not feeling so confident after the numbers. Your previous weight was 206 pounds. Your current weight is... Number, but it's so close. I just want to kick it. Like, no. <laughs> Good job. One pound away. It's just like cruel. Black team. You have one player left to weigh in. Jeremy, come on up. I'm a little nervous this way because I did all the work, but Chisholm also did all the work and he only lost two pounds. Being that I work out with Chisholm a lot, am I only going to lose two pounds too? Jeremy, your previous weight was 347 pounds. Your current weight is. Jeremy, your previous weight was 347 pounds. Your current weight is. pretty good especially Not, yeah tonight. from what i've seen tonight i can't be i cannot be upset with nine all right thanks very much thank you jeremy you lost nine pounds this week making the black team's total weight loss for the week 27 pounds with a percentage of weight loss of 1.72 percent right team that's the percentage to beat bob you are not happy with that no i mean there's the bar you guys right there <laughs> i mean that's terrible I'm nervous about this weigh-in. It was just, I'm not seeing the passion. I'm not seeing the numbers. Look at the numbers. They were not good. To beat the black team and send them to elimination, red team, you need to have lost more than 32 pounds. Okay, red team, we just have to lose more than 32 pounds. Let's do it. We only have to average between four and five pounds a person. So I'm thinking we're sitting real pretty. We really should win this weigh-in. Adrian, we're going to have you weigh in first. Come on up. He's a 300-plus guy. We should be seeing a big number from him today. I'm thinking 10 pounds from him alone. You have immunity this week as long as you did not gain weight, but your weight is counting towards the red team's total. Adrian, your previous weight was 336 pounds. 
your current weight is. Well, that's okay. I'm just still getting acclimated to how everything runs in the house. And there were a few extra things in the refrigerator that wasn't in my refrigerator back home. A man your size, losing two pounds your first week, isn't a good thing. We have to make better adjustments to ensure much better than two pounds. I'm disappointed that Adrian didn't put up a bigger number. You're one of the biggest guys. And the best you could do is two pounds? I think that's just horrible. Your first week here, I, I was thinking he should have probably been in double digits. I think the reason why I only lost two pounds is because of a change of diet here. It wasn't about the workout. I worked my butt off. You lost two pounds this week. Up next, we're going to weigh in Kim. Kim, your previous weight was 220 pounds. Your current weight is... You lost five pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it seven pounds so far. Kim, we're going to weigh you in next. Your previous weight was 197 pounds. Your current weight is... Roy, your previous weight was 272 pounds. Your current weight is... I know I did, did my best, and, and uh, if that's what I get for doing my best, then I'm proud of what I got. Thanks, Roy. You lost four pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 15 pounds. Red team needs to have lost more than 32 pounds in order to beat the black team and avoid elimination tonight. The red team's putting up low numbers. We turn corners before, but I don't know this week. I am so nervous. Next, we're going to weigh in Clark. Your previous weight was 255 pounds. Your current weight is... I want to be excited about that, but um, I wanted to help my team more than that. I think I got to work harder and, and do better. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. We lost four pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 19 pounds so far. You have two people left to weigh in. Up next, buddy. I'm nervous because I had been seeing a lot of low numbers. I'm really hoping for a seven or eight pound weight loss this week. Buddy, your previous weight was 353 pounds. Your current weight is... Eight for me is a great number, and for my team, I feel like I pulled what I needed to to give us a shot. I was ecstatic. It made me feel like I kept my uh, team in the game. Buddy, you lost eight pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 27 pounds so far. Red team, it all comes down to this. You need to have lost more than 32 pounds in order to beat the black team and send them to elimination. Right now, you have one person left to weigh in, and that's Conda. I hate being the last person to weigh in. It's nerve wracking. You end up being the team hero and you win, or you're the team zero and you lose. I'm nervous. I, I just hope that she's gonna pull a great number and secure the red team that we don't lose. God, I can't look at the screen. Let's see what the scale says. Conda, your previous weight was 265 pounds. You need to have lost more than five pounds in order to keep the red team safe. Your current weight is.
Next week, don't miss exclusive content not seen on TV and interact live with other fans during the show. Join NBC Live at NBC.com. Red Team, it all comes down to this. You need to have lost more than five pounds in order to keep the Red Team safe. Your current weight is... I feel like the work I put in this week, like, that is not accurate. And I feel like I really came in this week, like, wanting to win. And I get emotional because of all the frustrations that led up to this week and, you know, everything that took my mind off of working out is what got me two pounds. You keep fighting for the end game being a healthier version of you. So the adjustments that we're going to make this week is going to be tremendous. Expect that. Thanks, Connor. Thank you. Nancy was the one chosen to sit out, yet her percentage was higher than four people that they chose to keep on. It really makes me upset. Connor, you lost two pounds this week, making the red team's total 29 pounds. Red team, I'm sorry to tell you that that is not enough. Congratulations, black team. You have won the weigh-in, and you will be safe. You are all here for one more week. Good job. It's like the first thing I want to do is just smile and kind of like, oh, you know, freak out because I'm so happy, but I'm just so glad it's not us that have to go to the elimination room. Tonight, Red Team, there are two people you cannot vote for. Adrian, who has immunity, and the player with the highest percentage of weight loss, Kim. Congratulations, Black Team, you have won your third weigh-in. Red Team, you have a tough decision ahead. I will see you in the elimination room with your decision. Good luck. If we would have sat out a couple different people, we would have won. Now we got to go vote somebody out again. I hate the elimination room. It's a terrible emotional process to go through. I still have a lot of fat to lose. I still have a couple of health things that I want to get taken care of, and I want to be here. Plain and simple. It's very frustrating that we've lost. Somebody has to go home. But I'm also struggling with Adrian. Just think he should have pulled a bigger number this week. And I don't know what happened, but hopefully we'll figure that out. I lost 10 pounds last week. And I feel like that gave me the attitude to go into the gym a whole new person. And I feel like I have a lot more to offer myself and to offer the team. I want to be here. I, um, I need to be here. I still have, in my mind, at least 100 pounds to go. I still have my health issues. I still have a long way to go. <sighs> I don't think that I'm ready to go home yet. I don't want to go either. You know, I have the most weight still to lose on our team. I have the most to gain from being here. And uh, I'm putting up uh, pretty consistent, decent numbers. I just really would like another week. Oh, geez, it comes down to me. I have loved every week I've been here. I have grown as a person physically, and I'm getting the old Nancy back. And I just love the people here, and I love being here. And I would like to be here a few more weeks. Anyone else have anything you want to add? I want to talk to the group. I worked really hard this week. I did not want to come here and for this to happen. I stayed moving the whole time. I apologize to my team, and if you see anything that I can be doing better, I am open to that. Two things immediately that I thought, Adrian. One is that you're playing the game. What game? You knew you're immune this week. For you and your sister, two and one, I'm sorry, That's I'm just being honest with you, that's suspicious looking to me. This whole week, I have felt like he's really trying to be a part of the team. And in that moment, I feel like maybe he's been playing this. Nobody's playing the game because I haven't been here long enough to know how the game was played. But thank you for putting me up on game. He says, I don't even know what the game is. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't necessarily buy that. I mean, everybody knows this is a game. I want to know more about this game you think I'm playing. Okay, well, that's no, not... No, I'm talking about it. No, because, because I thought we no, were this coming is... together, and he busses the no, game. That's kind of crazy. this is deliberation. Okay. This is not the time. It's a really uncomfortable situation right now for the red team, and it's, it's not going to turn out good for Adrian if he can't try to connect with us on some level. Let's just go and go to elimination.
Coming up, the Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. Tonight there are two people on the red team you cannot vote for. Adrian, who has immunity, and Kim, who had the highest percentage weight loss on the red team tonight. Kimmy, we're going to start with you. The person that I voted for brought a lot of heart to the house. This person has reminded me more of my mother than any other person I've ever met. So the person that I voted for with much love is Dancing Nancy. All right, Nancy, that's one vote for you. How did you make your decision tonight? Uh, my decision was very hard, but I feel like I'm looking at who needs this the most, and I felt like uh, this person is so strong and so healthy that they will be okay. So I voted for Mark. All right, Mark, that's one vote for you. And Nancy, you have one vote. Mark, how'd you decide tonight? The person I voted for is a huge inspiration. To see life come out of them over these few weeks has just been so motivating for me. And I voted for Nancy. Nancy, that's two votes for you. Mark, you have one vote. Adrian. I made my decision based upon um, the person I believe needs to lose the least amount of weight. They have the, the least amount of health problems and uh, they consider themselves as being a leader so they should not have a problem leading themselves to victory back home. So the person tonight that I voted for was Mark. Mark, that's two votes for you. And Nancy, you have two votes. Buddy, it's time to hear from you. This person, you know, hasn't put up huge numbers, but I also feel comfortable that they're in the right direction and can make it at home. This person's very dear. Um, in the house, you know, we call her Jima, and the G stands for gangsta. My vote, Nancy. All right, Nancy, you have three votes. Mark, you have two votes. All right, let's see what Kim's vote is. With a lot of love, tonight my vote is for Nancy. Nancy, that's four votes. We need five. Conda. <gasps> Making this decision, I have to take everything, single personal feeling that I have aside and base it strictly on numbers and what's this team. I vote for Nancy. Okay. You inspired a lot of people. And you will continue to inspire people. Thank Don't you. ever give up. Thank and I know you won't. I appreciate it. I need all the encouragement. Thank you. I won't forget you, Nancy. Thank you. I didn't get a whole lot of time to be here with Nancy, but she is truly as sweet as pie. And I'm thoroughly surprised that we're sending um, Nancy home. At least, oh, well, I'm not sending Nancy home. That Nancy is, is going home. And I feel like... Bye. Voting for Nancy is, is playing the game. You did just come in here and you have no idea how hard this is for us. Like, for me personally, like, Nancy is one of the people that I'm closest with. It's like, I just wish that we could end things, like, on a positive note for her. There's a right time and a place for everything, and I don't think you know when that is. What we go through in here, you don't know. This is your first day doing this. This is your first week on the ranch. Mm -hmm. And we've said it, and we've said it, and we've said it again. Listen and keep your mouth closed. I wouldn't sit here and ever tell you to be quiet and just listen. Because for me, well, dig, I think that would be disrespectful to telling you that. Adrian, you don't Well, I showed that. up with my grave Adrian, already dug for me. You're taking away a moment that exactly. we all need. And I, 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 I love everybody, but this needs to just end. OK, Nancy. Nancy, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it is time for you to go.
When I arrived at the ranch, I was 217. Now I weigh 196 pounds. The person that came here had lost who she was, and by coming here, I'm my old self again. I'm much happier and I'm more myself. Go, Nancy, go! Go, Nancy, go! Get out of here, lady! Cassandra saved my life by bringing me here. It was really scary for me. <laughs> but once I got here, it was the best thing that could have happened to me. Sometimes people think it's going to be really too hard to do this at home, but I don't think it will be. I, I, I think it'll be easy for me because I've actually learned to really enjoy doing what I'm doing. Your mama, your mom is good. She's white and she's not from the hood, but she knows how to go. Man, does she. Whoa, whoa. Oh Give me the <laughs> America, next time you see this G-Ma, I'll be rapping about how great I feel and how happy I am. When I started at the ranch, I weighed 217. Today, I weigh 178. Hello, America. This is my family, but there's about 30 missing. There is 13 children, 55 grandkids, and three great-grandchildren. This is Isabella and Ava, Kaya, Jeremiah, Angela, Veronica, Ronnie, Lauren, Natalie, Levi, Noah, Douglas, Gabby, and behind is don't tell me. <laughs> I know who it is. Jordan. And that's part of my family. My family is really important to me. They pretty much are my life. I'm happy because she's back and she lost weight and I just love my grandma. I think I'm a fun grandma. I think I really am. I kind of lost my fizz and pop when I got so heavy. And I think I got it back at the ranch. <laughs> Yo, yo, white mama. She takes care of everybody, but now she's taking care of her. She's not from the hood, but she's from the country. It's all good. It is harder at home, but it can be done. Before, I could barely walk up this little hill on my road here, and now I can, like, jog up it. I'm going to continue this for the rest of my life. I will reach my goal because I want it for myself, and I want it for my family.